Hey guys, so this is the first part of my three-part mini-series on how to make three recipes out of one bag of chicken. And that is the bag of chicken that I usually get. I get it at Walmart. It's about $6.40 per bag and you get about six or seven pieces. So go ahead and throw two of the chicken breasts right in the crock pot while they're frozen still. You don't have to thaw them because they will thaw out slowly over the cooking process in the crock pot. You wanna make sure you season your chicken well. Here I'm using Lowry season salt and garlic powder. You also wanna add in a little bit of pepper. Don't be afraid to season your meat. That is what gives the flavor to your dish. If you fail to season it good enough, then it's kind of bland and then you have to add salt and maybe pepper or whatever. And then it just doesn't turn out the same because it hasn't been seasoned the whole time it's been cooking. So you definitely wanna season, season, season. Then you wanna cut up about six medium potatoes into cubes and throw it right on top of the chicken. A lot of the recipes I share are adjustable. So if you don't like potatoes, for instance, just don't put them in there. I like them in this dish because it makes it more hearty. And then you wanna add in baby carrots. I use a full bag, but again, you can adjust it to your preference. I just like my chicken pot pie to be chunky and full. It just makes for a better dish. Next, you add in your cream of chicken soup. You will be using two cans. I actually have used the Aldi brand and the Walmart brand both, and I like them, they're fine. You save about 50 to 75 cents per can, as opposed to the Campbell's brand, and I have not noticed a taste difference at all. So save yourself some money. Go to Aldi or Walmart and get the off-brand. I'm all about off-brands, frugal franny. So after this has cooked on low for about six and a half hours, you're going to want to go ahead and add in your final ingredient, which is a bag of frozen mixed veggies. And you just go right ahead and add it right in on the top. You're gonna let this cook for about another half hour, and that will make those vegetables really soft. And then by the time it's done cooking, everything will have come together perfectly. So you'll let this cook for about another half hour and it'll make those vegetables nice and soft. With this recipe, you'll be using biscuits. Please use buttermilk, do not use the flaky kind. It's not as good. And then you just pour your lovely chicken pot pie mixture on top of your biscuits. And there you have it. Chicken pot pie with a twist. The recipe is posted below. Let me know if you tried it and if you liked it and make sure you share this video.